Yo, it's Poppin' Playboys. Welcome back to another video, man. Dang, it felt good to say that. It's been two weeks since I uploaded the video, and I've just been going through some things, trying to find a new job and stuff like that. Plus, Florida just being in Florida and just been raining randomly, like, like what I think it's gonna do today, sadly. Also, I had a video that I wanted to upload with me and my girlfriend, but that whole video got corrupted, so I couldn't even upload it. But in today's video, we're gonna be restoring some headlights. You see how nice this headlight looks? This looks nice and fresh, while this headlight just, just look eh. So yeah, man, we're gonna be restoring that headlight and uh, hopefully making Dusty front end look a little bit better than what she already looks like, cause she look fire. But that headlight's just killing the vibe. So this is gonna be my first time actually like really restoring my headlights. I usually just polish them and they look good. But I feel like the polishing stage is over now and it's time for me to just sand down that uh, oxidation that's on the headlight. So what I'm gonna use is very simple process. I watched like a couple videos, so now I'm a pro. So essentially what you're gonna be doing to the headlight is just wet sanding everything down. So I have a 15 grit, uh, 2000 grit, and this should be 25, yeah. So I'm just gonna be going up from there. So I'm just gonna be wet sanding everything down. Obviously you're gonna need a bottle of water to wet sand because that's what it's called wet sand. Um, a very simple process from, from what I've seen. Didn't look hard at all, but yeah, um, also you're gonna need ma mask. Also, you're gonna need masking tape, which I have right here, just because you don't want to scratch up your freshly painted car, your freshly ugly painted car. Just don't want to scratch up the car. So yeah, I'm gonna get started. Simple process, man. I'm gonna throw on the GoPro because it's gonna be easier for me to show you guys. So let's get it. All right, so let's pop the hood. Bam. Dang, look at that engine bay. Fire. Alright guys, so gonna be massing up the headlight. Now, if your headlight is like my headlight, well, most likely you're watching this because you have a night gen. You just pop your hood and you don't, you don't really have to mask up right here because your hood's not touching it. But everywhere else you want to mask up. Alright you guys, so got everything masked up now. So now here was the easy part. Now all you guys wanna do is, actually let me get my sanding block. Boom, sanding block. And I'm gonna start out with 1500. Is this the 1500 I want though? Oh no, it's this one. So I got my sanding block, I'm just gonna spray this up. Spray the headlight. You guys will always wanna make sure that your headlight is wet when you're wet sanding. And uh, just go back and forth. Now my goal is to make the headlight look better than what it looked like, not to make it look brand spanking new. So if I can have the headlight look better than what it looked like before, it's happy, I'm happy. All right guys, so I forgot where I left off. I have to go inside real quick. <clears throat> well, if you guys can see, it is raining again. But guess what, I don't care, I'm still gonna keep going. But uh, I think I left off on wet sending, so let's continue wet sending. So I was saying before that you wanna keep your uh, your sand, sanding block wet all the time. Like you never want this to be dry. And especially with this rain that Florida, Florida gave me, giving me right now, I guess I can never keep you dry anyways. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> so what I'm doing right now, I'm just wet sanding everything. And now it's gonna turn a little murky when you're doing it. So that's what you wanna see. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the oxidation is coming off. And that's what you, that's, that's the whole purpose of what setting the headlight. So 
So I'm just doing the spot that I seen that was the worst, which was, which was the top of the headlight right here. So I'm just trying to make sure everything is coming out nicely. One thing I can't understand about Florida is either that it's going to be hot, that you, you're going to sweat, like sweat gigantic freaking sweat droplets, or it's going to rain and you're not going to be able to do anything. Like, I don't understand this place. And it's like, it seems like it's only South Florida because up North Florida, it, it don't look like this. This is crazy, bro. I just want to work on my car and stay one type of condition. I don't want to get wet and I don't want to sweat. But it looked like I can't get either or, so. So pretty much almost done wet sanding. I'm gonna up it to 2000. But first let me wipe it off and see what it looks like. Put this over here. Now, from what I seen on videos, everybody's saying to make sure your headlight gets like foggy when you're wet sanding. That's how you know you're doing a good job, I believe. And this look like it needs, it needs a little bit more. So like right here, I need to hit. And I think I need to hit here, over here, a little bit more too. So I'm gonna go back to the 15. And uh, I'm gonna hit right there. Right here. And right here. Oh, and here comes the rain. It never seems to fail me. Five minutes later. <sighs> Can't stand Florida, but yeah, I just moved the car up, so I should be able to work on it now. Yeah, it's not raining over here. All right, all right, let's get it going. All right, guys, so sadly my GoPro has died, so I'm back on the camera. Um, I don't understand how my GoPro already died if I just charged it this morning and it's at 100%. But whatever, bro, that's why you don't buy stuff used. But um, as you guys can see, I got the headlight dry and it looks pretty nice. It looks, looks not brand new, but it looks better than what it looked like. Plus, this is when it's when it's wet sanded. So imagine when I polish it, it's going to look fire. But now I'm up in the sand grit to 2000 and I'm going to do the same process again. Uh, keeping this wet all the time. Pause. Um, also, keeping the headlight wet too because you don't want to... You don't want to uh, mar it by, you know, having it dry and you're doing a huge scratch and now it just messes up the whole process. But uh, yeah, man, the headlight, the headlight is looking really good. Um, trying to see like what spots I need to touch up on, but I don't see none. It looks really nice. So yeah, man, we're gonna up it up to 2,000. You feel me? Let's get it. Yeah. So now the reason why you're going up a grit, up a whole thousand sandpaper grit is because you want to get these scratches as fine as you can. If I had 3,000 grit, I'd be going up to 3,000 grit, but I don't only have two, uh, 2,500. So we're gonna uh, get it to 25 and go on to sanding, I mean, not sanding, uh, polishing the headlight and that should restore the headlight. 
So hopefully you guys can see this. Zoom up for you guys. Hopefully you guys can see like the creaminess. Pause. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it. Cream. You guys can see that, huh? Hell no, y'all can't. Damn. Well, just know that it's doing that. Bro, this is turning out better than I thought. Like, the hella is looking really, really freaking good. Like, look at that. Damn! It is looking fire. So, I was doing uh, 2,500. Wait, is this 2,500? No, this is 2,000. So now we're gonna up it to 2,500. And uh, after I finish the 25, get to polishing. And uh, seeing, what, seeing what I could do with the polisher. Cause yo, right now this looks better than what it looked like before. I mean, Obviously, when it dries, it's gonna look trash. But when it's wet, it looks pretty clear. And that was the go. So let's get it. Good job, Sean. Good job. All right, man. 2,500. The last step. Let's do it. Like I said before, you guys, make sure your sanding block and your headlight is wet. Soaking wet, just like how the guys like it, balls. <laughs> okay, okay. This looking good. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to polish them. Oh yeah, we're definitely ready. Yes, sir. This looks fire. Let's get to polishing. All right, guys. So I'm not using anything special for my polisher. This is a polisher I bought at Walmart for like $25 or like $50 or something like that. And uh, I'm I'm thinking it could do the job. So let's see. And I'm also using some cheap turtle wax polishing. Let's see how it does. So, I'm just going to put four dots, actually five, and then, I'll show you guys right here, then I'm just going to plot it on it, like that, and uh, that's pretty much it after that, so I'll just turn it on and see what I can do. All right, so let's buff this off. Oh wow, that looks way better. Bam, okay. Okay. That looks way better. So I'm just gonna reapply. Do the same thing like I did before. Five dabs. Plot it. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but that's what I'm gonna call it. And back into action. Now when you finish polishing your headlight after you wet sand and all that stuff, you do need to put like a UV coating over it. Like if you have, uh, I don't know what's called, PPF, something like that. Or if you have um, uh, wax or ceramic coating, that's just, this is the time you apply it. But I can't do ceramic coating right now because it is gonna rain and it does need to be dry for like three hours before it can like really set in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a quick wax over it and probably tomorrow or another day, I don't know, I'll probably wax it. But yeah, man, the hell I looks really, really damn good. Like, sheesh, look at that. Fire, bro.
it's crazy how good the headlight came out. I even end up doing uh, the driver's side because I just felt like doing it. And, bro, they look freaking amazing, bro. They look super, super good. So this is where I'm going to end up the video because it's hot as hell outside. It's not even hot. It's actually just really, really humid. But, yeah, man. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to do it to yours, let me know down below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. Your boy's out. Peace.